Um, MPPs, whether NDP, PC, or Liberal, all received an invitation. Um, I know the sector vis a vis Dave Blonde and Aaron Rice have, and Beth Collier have been very busy tweeting, Facebooking. I wanted to start by thanking all the families that come out today. Uh, we, they came from across the province to tell their stories about the crisis they're facing with the underfunding and developmental services. Went a long way to having the politicians wake up here as all the families that were here today with their loved ones and those gut-wrenching and heart, but yet heartwarming stories uh, of how families are coping and, and trying to make do. This is a sector that we have to provide money to because if we don't, what's going to happen to all of these people? We have to be able to afford to care because there are people. <laughs> And without this funding, we have nothing. We have to get legislation to, to pass laws and, and provide funding so that we can care for these people properly. They're our families. I have a son named John. He's um, 22 years old. He's um, developmentally handicapped. He's um, nonverbal. And um, right now I have him in a day program at Broadview Village. Um, we're on waiting lists for passport. We do receive a small amount that was transferred from Special Services at Home to Passport and it's only $2,000, $2,200 to be exact. I've had to drop our um, support worker for Johnny because I want to put all the money towards his day program. So once the day program, once um, that money is exhausted, then I have to rely on the ODSP in order to um, cover his expenses. We're aging parents and what scares us the most is waiting lists, well not only for passports but for group home. Um, before anything happens to us, we want to see Johnny settled in and happy, um, that we can feel that we're leaving him in a good place. Um, Johnny right now is a very happy and social little boy. He's non-verbal though, which makes things hard because um, he can't tell us things. So um, we don't really know what's going on during the day other than the communication book. Um, I can tell he's happy. It's a wonderful day program that we have, but um, it's just the future that's scary. What I want to ask the MPs is, what if it was your kid? What if it was you? Wouldn't you want that type of care, quality care, to make your life worth living? And we as a government need to do more. We have been abysmal, I think, in years past, and one only has to open the paper this morning uh, to see of the things they used to be. But we have not done what we have promised. You know, my mom used to say growing up that uh, Anyone can slay a dragon, but it's the people who get up every single day and try to love the world all over again. We're the real heroes. You're the real heroes. We can't afford to care.